Hey YouTube, this is The Art of Prepping. I just wanted to do a video showing what you could fit in one of these Husky pouches. Now once again, uh, yesterday I did a video on this Husky 3-pack organizer pouches, SKU number 257724, which I found on a road trip at a Home Depot. And it was like $7 for the 3-pack. And so I'm going to put aside the small and the medium and just talk about what you can actually fit in the larger pouch. And so uh, I would say that this pouch is somewhere between 90 to 95% full, uh, but it opens and closes with no problems. So I didn't like fill it up so tight and so uh, thick that you can't even use it. So let's just see that what you can actually put in here. And once again, the, uh, the pouch is about this large compared to my, uh, my hands. And my hands are uh, extra large in terms of what, what glove size it actually uses. So uh, you can see the, uh, the thickness here. And uh, so it's not like a really big pouch and it's not really small, but it's very usable. So let's just show you um, uh, here just real quick. These, these are just an example of some things, more like survival kit items, but just for example, just different items that I was able to, uh, to get all in here without no problems at all. And I was actually a little bit surprised. And the reason I'm doing this is just to show you that you can actually have a nice core kit system um, that doesn't take up a lot of space, that's very usable and practical to have in maybe like a backpack or in your vehicle uh, so you can grab and go in case of an emergency. Uh, it's good to have especially everything you need all in one place uh, because when you need something, uh, you need it. And so uh, basically I just have a, a variety of different uh, items here. Um, it's really kind of fun though, just to kind of see what I could actually fit in here and uh, just a diversity of like different small items. Uh, you could actually go and put some larger items. You just may not be able to get a lot of the smaller items in there as well. I've tried different combinations of stuff uh, to get to this level. Uh, so basically there you go. Uh, the bag or the pouch is empty and this is where I could get in there. And so I have like a bag and some cotton. I have a compass. Uh, antiseptic towelettes, uh, some band-aids, uh, ferrocerium rod and striker, uh, Zippo, uh, or you could put in there like, like this one, a Scripto lighter. Uh, you could also probably go with a Bic lighter that would fit in there no problem. Uh, Victorian Knox, some multi-tool, uh, some dental floss, or you could go with a, a nylon wax thread. Um, I have one of these. I like these a lot. This is the Derma Safe uh, razor knives. Uh, Six-inch light stick. I have some water purification tablets there, some cording, uh, my new Rayovac headlamp, uh, some, uh, some duct tape here. I got a candle, some matches, a uh, folding knife, and uh, my CRKT neck knife. Uh, so basically, I think I covered it all. Uh, that's just kind of like an example of what you could actually fit in here. And uh, I'm telling you what, this is quite a bit when you're talking about just like a basic survival kit. Um, in, a, in a pouch that is not that big. And, um, and so once again, in this, uh, this three pack, it also includes uh, a medium and a small. And so you could actually uh, divide uh, maybe um, a category of prep into one of those in particular. For example, you could take the medium size pouch and make it into uh, maybe just your dedicated fire kit or maybe a small medical kit. Um, and, uh, you know, even like you could get a, another, uh, set of these, uh, organizers and just use another, one of the larger ones, uh, for just, uh, food, for example, you could put, uh, various, uh, uh, you know, rations in there. So you'll have, uh, some calories in an emergency. And so you can make uh, signal kits, um, and the list goes on. You could just fulfill all of your categories. And so you could have a general, you know, kit like this. Uh, or you could actually build, um, you know, kits with a pouch for each category. Um, and so that could be really cool. And once again, on the grommets here or on the tab, uh, you have two different ways to attach uh, like a tag. And on that tag, you can label um, whatever the contents and or the type of kit it is. For example, this could be like a basic uh, survival kit 
or if you have an actual first aid kit, you could just put, um, you know, first aid, or if you have a trauma kit, trauma kit, and so forth. So I just wanted to pass it on that it's really good to be organized, especially in your backpacks, in your vehicle, uh, any place that um, you're going to be possibly mobile. uh, It's really good to know where things are and to get quick access. Uh, if you have any uh, suggestions or uh, thoughts on pouch systems or if there's any other pouch uh, that you use besides uh, uh, these husky ones, uh, I'd be very interested to know about it. Thanks for your support. You guys take care.